welcome to india welcome to red four you are coming i am coming nobody is welcoming you i am welcoming you this is the place where the prime minister of india gave a speech from here you cannot shoot there but because the prime minister security is there and this is the prime minister goes by lift on the 15th august that is the independence day of india when you come to india you start from here to see the red fort and there are so many beautiful buildings inside rang mahal khas mahal diwan e aam diwan e khas and you will be very happy to see that before that we will pass from the meena bazaar that meena bazaar is the time of the king's time and everything is cheaper here why cheaper because they are paying the 15 rupees rent 300 if year before is still the rent is 15 rupees so everything is cheaper here and after this meena bazaar we will reach at the nobat khana that's called the drum beating house the mina bazaar you are passing from the mina bazaar you see both side very beautiful things Two thousand five hundred. Get your full name on a grain of rice. Um, I. One hundred rupees. One hundred. I want hundred rupees. 
granny fries. Mm -hmm. So who are you, will you do it yourself? Where did you learn it? At home, your father? Yes. Have you ever counted how many yeah, grain no grain of rice you done? No. Yeah, by now how many <laughs> done? One thousand. About one leg. One leg? Grain of rice you where? One leg name. One leg name. Oh my god. So can you do my name? Mm -hmm. One leg. It's like one leg of rice. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Full name. Mm -hmm. Oh, my, my full problem. name. Yes. 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 You take only specific kind of rice, only special yes. rice. No, basmati rice. Hmm? Basmati rice. L. Uh huh. L. I. U. B. O. V. Okay. Nice. How do you do if somebody has like very long name? No problem. Like like for example eleven letters. No problem. Eleven letter. Like Mahatma. No problem. I can write fifty letters. Fifty letters? Yes, no problem. Full name? Full name. Okay, it it would be less than fifty letters. Let's see. G E N N A D I E V N A and then Timeva T I M W E V A Ah <laughs> all these three names take my name my father's name and my surname L I U B I want Use another brush. Why? Because it is thin. Long name, yes. Ah, long name, sir. You need to use thin. Yeah. Hello, which country you are? One minute stop. Common Telugu, Trebia, Sibu play, Messi Puku. I speak 40 languages of the world. I know you're Sarkozy, Carla Bruni. Now my friend Holland. You're very lucky to see me, the world international man. Come on. I will tell you why I'm famous in the world. You'll be the person who is famous in the world. Now you will see. The paintings of the birds, painting on this table is not a painting. In English, you say inlay, but in French, you say marquetry. In German, you say in Tarshil. In Dutch, you say in collect. In Spanish, as Tocardo. In Italian, Petradura. In Japanese, Dariseki. In Korean, Therisho. In Russian, in Kustasya. In Chinese, Xiongchen. In Hebrew, we say see fast. Tamil Gujarati, we say Minakari. I speak 40 languages of the world. When you come here, you get the fresh air. Because there are nine gates. And the position where you stand, you can see the king. And king can see you. Because the construction of the 1 a.m. is like that. Wherever you stay, you can see the king and king can see you. Now you have to follow me. If you don't follow, you may fall down. Some people fall down talking in the mobile, taking the picture and they don't care. If you follow me, you will be happy. Please follow me. This is Hamam. There are four chambers in that. One is cold, one is hot, one is perfume, one is makeup. You can ask me the question, why four bathroom? Because the king was having a lot of queens, girlfriends, some lady, ladies are always different. You might find in everywhere in the world, ladies are always different. Some ladies say we want cold water for bath. Some ladies say no, we want hot water. Some ladies say we want perfume water. Some ladies say we don't want to take bath, we want to do makeup. So this is the cold bathroom. Then after there are three more, nobody can go in because government want to protect it. So this is the very big bathroom you might have seen in the whole world. Come on.
You are sitting in the campus is the Hayat Bakshi Garden where you find the Savan Mahal month of July when there is raining. King takes shelter here. That size the Bhado Mahal. And in front of you that is the buildings made by English people. Why they make the last king run away from the secret gate. But he was caught by officer Hudson. Then India was under the British rule. They say yes, sit down, we say yes sir. Stand up, we say yes sir. So this is the bank of the Jamna which was liked by the king when his wife died and he came from Agra to Delhi. What he is liked the name of this king? Name of the king is the Shah Jahan who built Taj Mahal. He also built Jama Masjid and he built Red Fort. And this is the wall. You are look, looking, you are standing on the wall. This wall is 2.41 square kilometer. You are standing on the wall and there is a gate from where the king can run away to Jamna and he can run away to Bad. Some people think the secret gate goes to Agra. No, it not goes to Agra. It goes to this side Jamna, but Jamna river is in Agra and Delhi. You can go to Agra by the boat by Jamna.
It's open now. Nice, nice. Till what time it's open? Morning time is 8 o'clock. And now? Now it's closed. You go to Vaz Gate is open. Go fast. This is it? And this is real marble, see? And which is the real and which is the soft, you can see like this. I'll show the check. Soft marble, you can easy to come in lining. Come on, chop. And real one, it's never come. Never come. Okay. This is very easy. Very easy. Uh, the white is coming out. Yes. You can use the night lamp like this. Fully transition, fully growing marble. And you can see dark time is more beautiful. Show you. See. You can put inside any color bulb. Red, green, blue, it's more beautiful. This one 600. The, the, the water one, this one 1200. With a nice box packing. Much but I think money. this is a real thing, sir. This is medium size. Okay. If you want, you take this one. One for you. Anything else? I my price is 1550 but I'll ask 10% off. About to 1055 more less. But I'll for you. Minus 200, round figure. For 1350 for both. This is real German, German stuff. This one, sir. This one, this one. This one, this one. This one, this one. And this is my guarantee anybody give more than less, you refund my item. No, no, thirteen fifty is too much. Uh, together, sir. Together eight hundred. Sir, That's correct, no? I said twelve for one thousand dollar. And 350 for that one. Oh, 800 is good price for both. 800 is too less, sir. And if you want this and that, so I can give you 800. Soft marble. No, that is false. That is real things. You know, real thing is expensive. Just only looking my stuff. Just stop looking my stuff. Just give him minutes. Just give him minutes. minutes. Just give him minutes. Just give him minutes. Don't buy. Just one minute. I give you one minute. Sir, two Now is no move. Sir, 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 Close time is 5 o'clock. Now it's close. When the tourists come, we judge him. Hmm. If he wants more, then we tell him about the daily. There is old daily and there is new daily. In old daily, all the traditional things are there, old buildings old transport, old market, no way to walk, very narrow space to walk. When you come to New Delhi, you got the modern city, like in America, France, Germany, everywhere. So when the tourist is interested and he can grasp, then we tell them about the Delhi, New Delhi, everything. When he's tired, we don't tell them about Delhi, New Delhi. We tell them only things which are related here, rent for, so that he may be becoming very happy because he's very much tired and the season is also very hot he is full of with the 
sweeting. So I have to take care of him. So I give him, get him relax. Then I tell him in a nice way, very very gap, giving the gap so that he may grasp and he may relax. Then he become very happy. Then he say, oh, she a very good guy. Once I guided the queen of Bhutan. तरबाजी एक नवाबों का शौक रही है तो ये जो पुरानी दिल्ली का कल्चर है ये मुगलों के टाइम से चला आ रही है मुगलों के टाइम से कबूतरबाजी पतंगबाजी मुर्गेबाजी तो ये यहां का कल्चर रही है बतौर शौक अब आप देखेंगे कभी भी अभी जामज के पीछे जाएंगे तो आप हर दो घर छोड़ के घर में कबूतर जरूर होगा वहां समझ रहे ना तो देखने में ये एक चीज ही ऐसी है खूबसूरत तो बच्चे का तो मन अपना आप चाहता है कोई भी बच्चा इनके नजदीक जाएगा तो उसको शौक ऑटोमेटिकली लग जाएगा एक्चुअली क्या हमारे जो विरासत में है कबूतरबाजी जो है हमारे दादाजी करते थे हमारे पिताजी करते थे तो जब हम पैदा हुए तो जब हमारे फादर ने कबूतर पाले हुए थे दो तीन सौ कबूतर थे हमारे पास देखने से वो शौक लग गया हमारे से जो डबल एज के हैं हमने अस्सी अस्सी सौ साल के इस, इस शौक के अंदर बुजुर्ग लोग देखे हैं तो उनसे जो है उनसे और पुरानी बात पता लगती है हमें कि बेटा इस जमाने में क्या है हमारे जमाने में वो नवाब हुआ करते थे उनके पास ऐसे कबूतर थे वो और आगे की बतलाते हैं जून से लेके अक्टूबर तक अपने पूरे शरीर के पर चेंज करता है तो उस टाइम के अंदर इसको बिठाना पड़ता है मतलब इसको ताकतवर चीज़ें खिलाई जाती हैं ताकतवर जैसे चना हुआ मोटा मक्का हुआ तो ये जान के लिए ताकि इसका जो ब्लड बने तब ये अक्टूबर नवंबर में जाकर बिल्कुल फ्रेश हो जाता है फिर इसको उड़ाने के लिए बाहर निकाला जाता है फिर ये नवंबर, दिसंबर जनवरी फरवरी मार्च अप्रैल तक छः महीने ये उड़ता है छः महीने के अंदर इससे हम उड़ान करते हैं इसको यूज़ करते हैं मतलब तो काफ़ी लोग दिखाते हैं अपना कबूतर दूसरों को बुला करके अब जैसे मैंने उस आपको दिखाने के लिए अपना कबूतर इतना तैयार करना पड़ता है कि दूसरा उसमें कोई कमी ना निकाले कमी मीन्स एक एरिए का रेंज होती है उस रेंज में आपको कबूतर उड़ाना है और बहुत दूर उड़ाना है लंबाई उसकी इसके अंदर ये बहुत चीज़ें होती हैं आपको नीचे उड़ाना है ऊंचा नहीं होना चाहिए कबूतर अब आप जैसे डेढ़ सौ कबूतर इकट्ठे उड़ा रहे हैं तो डेढ़ सौ के डेढ़ सौ जाने चाहिए एक साथ उसमें से जैसे पाँच दस वापसी नहीं आने चाहिए अगर सारे गए तो सारे इकट्ठे आने चाहिए उसमें रूल रूल्स जो होते हैं ये होते हैं और अब जैसे ये गुरुद्वारा है और आप ये समझ लीजिए जाऊँ मस्जिद इसके बीच बीच की रेंज में रखना है आपने अगर आपका कबूतर यूँ इसके पीछे चला गया राउंड करके आ रही है तो वो कैंसिल हो जाएगा तो उसमें फील होता है बदनामी होती है कुछ तो दूसरे लोग जाके कहते हैं यार क्या दिखाया मज़ा नहीं आया ये वो तो उसमें दोपहर का टाइम है जैसे एक बजे का टाइम है दो बजे का टाइम है तो यहाँ से किनारी बाजार है नीचे देखा आपने तो यहाँ से बहुत फॉरनर निकलता है पूरा पूरा डेलीगेशन आता है रिक्शों में पैदल तो वो सब इधर उधर वो शूट करते हुए चलते ही हैं तो अब किसी की नज़र पड़ गई ऊपर कबूतर घूम रहे हैं भाई तो उनने गाइड्स को बोला कि कबूतर देखना है हमने तो वो ले आते हैं ऊपर तो वो जो उनका डेलीगेशन आता है ग्रुप आता है यहाँ तो वो उनसे डिमांड करता होगा कि हमें यहाँ का कल्चर देखना है कि यहाँ की हॉबी क्या है यहाँ का गेम्स क्या है शौक़ क्या है यहाँ का लोकल आदमी का क्योंकि एक्चुअली क्या है बाहर कंट्री में भी है ना ये शौक़ ज़्यादा हो गया है कनाडा हुआ अपना अमेरिका में माइक टाइसन है उसका शौक देखो आप वीडियो इस पर यूट्यूब पर डालो उसका माइकल टाइसन है ना जो अपना बॉक्सर जो है अमेरिका का अभी वो सेकंड आया था अभी एक कबूतर वहाँ दो करोड़ कुछ लाख का बिका है रेसर कबूतर हाँ एक कबूतर देर वॉज ए पी कॉक थ्रोन all made of gold taken by iran one lakh toll of gold if you take a guide if you say yes you know everything as i'm telling to you if you say no we don't want a guide you don't know anything this king was told your enemy is coming from iran 
but he was always busy eating, drinking, not listening. When you listen to somebody, you are in profit. So this man was always busy in drinking and all that, not listening. Then Nadir Shah came from Iran, wanted to kill him. Then he said, please don't kill me. What you want? I want this peacock throne. Okay, you take this throne, but don't kill me. आप पंद्रह रुपये सवारी लेंगे ना पंद्रह रुपये सवारी जब हम अजीत गेट नंबर वन गेट नंबर एक चलना है अच्छा साथ चलना है आगे आगे बस भागे धीरे धीरे चलना साथ चलेंगे नाउ वी आर हेडिंग टू मोहम्मद हाजी हुसैन फ्राइड चिकन आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट हैव इटन चिकन एट के एफ सी सो दिस इज लाइक अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ चिकन दैट्स नॉट एग्जैक्टली सिमिलर टू के एफ सी इट्स काइंड ऑफ जमा मस्जिद फ्राइड चिकन यू कैन से एंड हाजी हुसैन हैज बिन सेलिंग हेज बिन सेलिंग चिकन फ्राइड चिकन फॉर पास्ट फोर्टी ईयर जमा मस्जिद सो वी आर दर्स्ट गोइंग टू हाजी हुसैन देन वील गो टू असलम बटर चिकन रोस्टेड बटर चिकन So just taste it and tell me how you find it. Yeah. 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 Just taste it. लगा रहा हूँ जलेबी खिलानी पड़ेगी सबको अपने हाथों से। हाँ है वो अब इधर को मुकेश वाले थी वो तो वहाँ से आए थे जलेबी थे। हाँ मसाला डाल दिया आपने इसमें। मसाला मना किया था ना तब। Try this with roti. You will like it. I will show you how is it eaten. Wait. Have to first do this, then. You have to take the pieces out here, roll it in the that. If you want, you can add. If you want, like spices, you can add it. Then you have to eat it. Is that spicy? Yeah, that's spicy. It's better than KFC. Yeah, yes. Yeah, sure. This is called jalebi. So this is made up of white flour and that's mixed in the water and then let's put them inside the sugar syrup. Yeah, yeah. So then I can show you how is it made. Come, cream jalebi. Cream jalebi, cream plain jalebi. Fantastic. I like it. It's pastry. It's not pastry. It's made up of white flour. Hmm. What is it? White flour. Yeah. Bula acha. And four water bottles. Four plates. Lagado. Four water bottles. Do master. दो रबड़ी, चार पानी की बोतल तो पीछे, दो रबड़ी, दो खोया। This lane is known as गली पराठे वाली। गली in English is by lane, and पराठा is fried breads. So there used to be twenty पराठा वालास who used to sell fried breads in this gully. So now there are only three of them are left. So we will be visiting the oldest one. That's Pandit Gaya Prasad. Yeah. पानी के जगह डालो यहाँ से। As you can see, it's a kind of starter which I am having. This is banana paratha. So this is tamarind chutney. This is coriander chutney. This is potato vegetable. This is, these are pickles. Okay. So you can start eating. अभी आज सात बज के इक्कीस मिनट पे इफ्तार है सेवन ट्वेंटी वन चिकन इन जमा मस्जिद यू विल ब्रेक योर फास्ट देयर द बेस्ट फूड जॉइन आई टेक यू दैट बटर रोस्टेड बटर चिकन इट्स अ वेरी डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ बटर चिकन यू वॉन्ट गेट अरी वेर इन दिल्ली एट सेवन ट्वेंटी वील बी देर Shah Jahan loved his wife so much. When his wife was going to die, she took two promise from her husband. Mm. One promise, 
you will not marry again. Second promise, you will make such a nice thing in memory of me. There should not be such thing in the whole world. Then Shah Jahan made Taj Mahal in the memory of his wife and it took 22 years. Nobody in the world, no Bill Gates, no Bill Clinton, nobody in the world. Only Shah Jahan made Taj Mahal in the memory of his wife and he never married after the death of his wife. <laughs>
only 100 gram blanket. One side cool, one side hot. Air condition. You 12 month reach. This government in all item five years guarantee. All over the India 50 percent rupees. All over the India. Khadi vendor do. Gandhi Asra. Price? Government price. You 1250 starting blanket single bed. Oh, four things, sir. Mask to fight, bed seat. Mask to fight. Bed seat, bed seat. Bed. Bed seat. Sheet. Yes. Mask to fight. You same road, Mina Bacha. Very famous Taj Mahal models, table lamp, chessboard, Bhagwan ka muti, Taj Mahal ka models, real model. Previous Aga Central Jail, previous four items famous. Get Wally Chan Nagani, get the Yavalang, get Wally Chan Nagani, get Wally Chan Nagani, start there. Okay, sir. No, Taj Mahal? Yeah, yeah, five million inside. After signing a drop, this parking drop. Mm, no shopping. Shopping, no, only looking. 100 gram Only 100 gram blanket. No, gram no purchasing. You are not purchasing, only looking. English, Hindi, mix. Your English, Hindi, mix. Inside my manager. English, English. English, my manager inside. You must be able to talk in a fluently way and in a nice way so that the people of the world may understand you. Because if there will be a gap of communication, he will not enjoy, you will not enjoy, and you cannot earn the money, that will be not good. English is very important because all over the world, many people know English, whether better, bad, like French people, they know more French. But they know little bad English. Yes, no, king, queen. They don't know the grammar and all that. But they understand if you speak them bad English, they will understand. If you tell them pure English, they can't understand. So like this China, they don't understand English even. So I have to speak them Chinese, ni hao, chinko lai, che che. If they are Japanese, I say, don't say thank you. I say domo, arigato, gozaimasu. You know, when you really go to history, you, when you really think of a guide, you always wonder a man running behind your car chasing you. That's the impression what generally people have. But now the things have changed. A guide is said to be an ambassador of a country. He represents the country to the guests coming here. And tourism is now being portrayed as an industry in this country. Earlier, it was not being taken care of because India is definitely earning a big foreign revenue from this industry and they are organizing all sectors and guiding is one among them. So now guides are being trained very professionally by the tourism institutes and after a complete training, after giving some practicals, they have been put on floor to perform. Earlier people were not focusing, the education class was not focusing towards this profession. It was always being taken as a as a low-lying profession, I would rather say, you know. But now with time, people with brains are coming into it. And you really see the difference what I was talking about. And as I said, you know, there's a very, uh, a very strict criteria of, or I would rather say the tough procedure, what they have got. You know, they, you've got to appear in a written examination. You have to qualify in an interview. And then you've been taken up for a training. It's a complete process what you have to qualify with certain marks. 
and only then you have been awarded a license to work as a guide. So there are two categories of guides. You know, one are being produced by the center, what we say the DOT, Department of Tourism, and second by the state. That's the now I'm representing Uttar Pradesh. So that's the state tourism. So this is how it is. And both the organizations are producing their guides and putting them on floor. See, basically, we have got two kinds of tourists coming here into Agra. One is the inbound and second is the outbound. Yeah. So the inbound tourists, what really come here, they come from the from various countries. And definitely when you really talk of them, for them, you need linguistic guides because they come from different countries. Yeah. So we do have a wonderful collection of guides, those who are really master in the skills and they give them proper service. So they have definitely done those courses in those specific languages. And apart from that, we even do have domestic traveling within the country. So they go with the local language, maybe a little bit of Hindi, English. So English has become a local language? Yeah, you can say so, definitely. You know, when you really talk of the language of the Supreme Court of this country, that's again English. So English finally binds us, binds the complete country into one, yeah. Well, I started my career as an advocate in the civil courts here in Agra. Yeah. And later on, being uh, yeah. Agra tourist hub, you know, I wasn't attracted to this profession and it really pulled me. Say when you really talk of a guy, when you get into this profession, you mentally prepare that you're making your bread within six months, six to seven months, you see? And the rest of the day, you, rest of the year you're into hibernation, yeah? <laughs> or you're just enjoying your holidays. But apart from that, you know, people are into different activities. You know, some, are, some have got their family businesses or something like that, so they definitely support that. But yeah, uh, technically speaking, it's a profession you could say for seven to eight months yeah well definitely we didn't have that many of uh, females or ladies getting into this profession but now they're definitely moving in we have lots of uh, girls coming but still as compared to boys the ratio is still very low because as i said you know when we talk of upt guides we are approximately 900 touching a figure of 900 and in that uh, you could say we got around about uh, 20, 25 girls, yeah. What has happened, there has been a wonderful amendment in the Guides Act. You know, we have got a very recent amendment. According to that, you know, earlier we used to have the renewal being done after three years, all by itself. But now, the thing has changed. Now what they've done is that you have to get into a refreshment course. You know, they'll be offering you a small course that's going to be approximately of uh, a month, which you have to go through. And after qualifying that refreshment course, your license will be renewed. It's not going to be automatically now. To really talk of the ratio of the guides and the tourists coming to Agra is really, the valley is really very big. Because now what has happened in this country, you know, as the, as the middle class is growing, so they've really become very good travelers. You know, as the economy is moving, middle class has started moving. You know, earlier, we never used to see people from middle class or from the lower middle class, you know, traveling a lot. They were just confined within their cities, but now they're wonderful travelers. So they really amount to a very big movement in Agra. You'll be surprised, you know, on a weekend, we have footfall of approximately 50 to 60,000 people touching here a, a day, Saturdays and Sundays at times, yeah, in the season. So that's really massive. And that's really become a matter of concern to ASI now, Archaeological Survey of India. Because and for those 50 to 60,000 people, how many trained guides uh, do you have here? Well, as I said, you know, the ratio is very narrow because uh, uh, the number of guides what we have in Agra would be approximately, you could say, touching 2,000 maximum. In this, uh, you can say, you know, uh, around about two to 300 would be DOT and the rest from uh, UP Tourism. And is there any unorganized sector in this? Yeah, we do have some people, those who work from streets and uh, they've got some stays from the court. Yeah, so even they are, you know, some kind of people, those who are working as guides, you can say so. And what is the stay on from court? It's just on this, on livelihood. You know, actually there was uh, a, a judgment which had come out from uh, Jaipur High Court. And in that, you know, in the absence of a guideline, uh, these stays were being given. So even the High Court of Allahabad, you know, gave the stays to these people on the same ruling. So this is how it was.
the guideline has already come and it's just a matter of time that it's going to be uh, dismissed. They don't meet any kind of requirement what is meant according to the guideline. You know, you may have a man who has just done his 8th class or maybe 7th class or not even that, manipulating with the documents, getting a stay and you know, working as a guide, yeah. Footfall of the tourists is really increasing a lot in Agra and it's really becoming especially Taj. So Taj is basically not being built to cater this many people a day, you see. So definitely at some point we are going to cause a damage to the building. So maybe in coming times, you know, ASI would come with a special ticket for people to go on the top or maybe there would be a day when they would stop people getting into the monument. Finally, the most important thing is that the Taj lives and you know, if Taj lives, Everybody lives with it, even the revenue. So the Taj is definitely a main concern because we got to preserve it for the generations to come. You are in front of the king. I am the king here. Only one man, government approved tourist guide. If you see my badge, I go anywhere in the world. This is my license from the government of India, Ministry of Tourism. Even I go to airport, anywhere. If a policeman stops my car and when he see this, oh, sir, galti ho gai. And then he, sir, and he takes, apologize, apologize. For that, I have stopped you. Suppose 3,000, 10,000 people fill up the farm, then take only 160, not the more. So it's very tough competition. So I, I graduated, I have BSc, MA, MCOM, LLB. I'm gold medalist in law. I'm